Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really short, um, really standard set of acrylic nails. Um, really plain and simple, but I just thought that I would share with you anyway to keep my channel active. So I've already gone and prepped all of my clients' um, nails. So I've pushed back her cuticles, I've gone in with my cuticle clean, and then I've etched the natural nail plate with a 180 grit file making sure to get all in them sidewall areas um, as you can get prone to lifting in them areas. Um, I've dehydrated the nails, then I've gone in and primed, applying my forms and then I will apply my second coat of primer just before I'm going in with the acrylic. So I'm using my alpha number eight brush. Um, there is a code for 10% off in the description box. So don't forget to take full advantage of that. Mine is a eight <laughs> oval. And I'm using CJP Acrylic System. This colour is Apple Shine. Um, and I'm using their monomer as well as their clear. And everything else is from CJP. So on this nail, I'm just going in with silver bows and I'm just gonna do like a glitter fade up the nail. Uh. <laughs> Hi puppy. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of my own glitter mix as well and just feather that up the nail and then encapsulate in crystal glass. in with my cuticle bead and as always I always place my bead at the cuticle area I place my client's finger placing downwards allow that acrylic to flow and then I would just pat it into position and then obviously feather it out and pat it evenly down the entire surface of the nail I do fall out of shot a little bit here which I do apologize for but I really just wanted to get that bit that was the acrylic had missed um, covered obviously I didn't want any gaps on my clients nails also these strength these powders that I'm using are strength powders but I do like to always encapsulate in clear just to do a bit of uh, peace of mind really more than anything so I'm going in again applying my second coat of primer placing my bead on the nail walking it down the form to create my free edge Careful not to get any acrylic on the skin or in the side walls or at the cuticle area because this will create lifting. 
and then just walking it down that form to create that square free edge. And then on this finger, I'm gonna go in again with the glitter and do another glitter fade, and then I will encapsulate. So that is the finished set. I'm just gonna go in and apply my top coat and my cuticle oil as always. And then that will be the finished set of acrylic nails. I'm sorry, it's nothing spectacular, but I do like to just stay active with you lot. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would. And I will see you all again in my next one. Bye.